Hello everyone, this is a Good Captain. Welcome to another video in my LP of Campaign Series West Front. This is linked campaign game Operation Sea Lion, mission number 9, titled On to London. Oh, Advancing to London, excuse me. Okay, uh, before we get into the scenario, one quick, one quick housekeeping. Uh, so, the last, uh, those last two videos, I actually just, uh, quick FYI, because the last one I felt was had a bit of a different tone. <laughs> Both of those were recorded back to back, uh, four, between four and, uh, 6 a.m. in the morning. I woke up, I couldn't sleep, so I figured, hey, why not cut a video? And, the first one went fine, but uh, I was watching parts of uh, the the last video, and I can I can hear I can and so can you probably. Uh, I'm just sort of going through the motions at a certain point. I'm I'm not doing the best job I can narrating, and I'm just pushing pieces around the map to. To do whatever it is that I think I need to do to get the minor victory at least. So sorry about that. Uh, I won't. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing that again. Uh, I just, yeah, I don't know what got into me. I just felt like I, I was like, yeah, I got, I have to finish this thing now. I really wanted to see what the outcome would be. For that scenario more than any other immediately so I just rolled the next video uh, but that's a good it's a good reminder to myself why I don't really play more than an, an hour or just over an hour but anyway advancing to London uh, is the name of the scenario so let's read the historical and do the analysis D plus six, Rotham, 37 kilometers southeast of London. Ironside's stop line has been broken by our forces, and again we are on the advance. Unfortunately, our armor took heavy losses during the Battle of Maidstone. It is an honor that your unit has been selected to lead the advance towards London. Clear a path for our panzers, which are soon to follow up. Speed is essential, but that, but that does not mean you should be wrecked. Okay. Visibility is 15 turns. There's a slight haze. Ground is dry. 18 turns. 18 turns. That'll come up again in the analysis here. But uh, yeah, let's go through the numbers. Where's my... Map overview. Here's the map. We have a. Uh, we start out at. If we call what these guys in the bottom of the valley here are at level zero, then it's zero, one, two, three, four, five. So that's the range that we're dealing with. It's a very high hill, mountainous area, hill area up here. And then, uh, level 2, a very, very low flat area down south, but basically low to high, south to north, okay? Significant terrain takeaway. Um, yeah, there's some, I mean, this is, uh, not to skip ahead too far, because the next discussion is the objectives, but this is obviously a, a route clearance operation, uh, much like the one between Canterbury and Maidstone, where we, where we got our minor victory instead of our major. Um, and that means there's, uh, level, zoom out to level two here, we have exit victory locations and there's two of them, so 
you know, that means there's uh, options available to us in terms of the path we want to take. And so it uh, axiomatically becomes interesting what path we want to take or what paths are there. So this is a significant terrain discussion that we'll have um, when we get lit a little later in the analysis here. But basically we're going to choose between the rail line to the south after the split or the asphalt and dirt road um, to the north. So it's either north route or the south route. Otherwise uh, the only other significant terrain I'm going to discuss at this moment would just be to point out that the canning factory lies very much in the way of the southern route. Notice these two hexes here are visible as are the two behind it, so very difficult to go around the canning factory if you, uh, rather as opposed to just seizing it. The reason I think this is interesting is because the industrial hex is has the best hem in the game at 0.5. Well, best um, tem outside of uh, you know those bunkers that we had to deal with in the last scenario, but I'm talking about the hex terrain, not something that was built there by the enemy or you know built for war by the enemy. At any rate. Objectives. Okay. We need 600 points for the major victory. We need 450 for the minor. So again, pretty standard stuff. Let's take a look at our objectives. Other than those two exit victory locations, there are five uh, victory locations. Uh, totaling, uh, I think, 275. Let me recount this. 150. 250, 275. Mm -hmm. So if we captured all the objectives, we'd have 275, which does not even get us to a minor defeat. So this, to me, more than the transitional scenario between Canterbury and Maidstone, says that we need to exit units. We, we really do need to exit units this time. Okay. The, the other thing is these objectives. This one lies at a, this 25 point objective here. I'll zoom it in. Lies at a crossroads. This objective absolutely must, will be taken. Must and will be taken. These other ones, these three here, and this one, the canning factory, they really, none of them seem to need to be taken. Um, perhaps Perhaps, well, one would probably fall if we went south for the railroad or north for the paved slash dirt road. Um, Boro or Rotham would fall, respectively. They're both worth 75. Okay. But these other ones, Trotiscliff, the Canning Factory, and whatever city we didn't go for, don't seem to be, they seem to be pretty far off path, especially Trotus Cliff. Um, going up there, expending energy to take that 50-point objective seems like a, a quite a task. And the canning factory in itself is going to be a little bit of a task, of course, especially since it's right at the end. You're going to want to be exiting units and then trying to decide which units should actually engage this position versus which ones should be should exit and um, at the point at which it matters it's probably going to be extremely difficult to decide so all these will affect our plan as well all these facts so that's it for the map overview moving into the support overview we see that we have two HS-123A ground attack aircraft. These are not as good as the Stukas, but at least we have something. 
our artillery. Well, we have uh, our three 150 millimeter batteries are trailing behind us somewhere, providing support. Um, otherwise, what we've got on the map is all our core units plus some stug tanks here supporting us through both platoons at strength of three. We also have a motorcycle platoon here. Um, the rest is scheduled to arrive on turn two, uh, the rest of our battalion. And on turn four, we get two platoons of armored cars, one the smaller 222 armored cars, and the other t the 231 eight radioled heavy armored cars. Those will be welcome additions. Since this is probably going to be a very mobile battle. We also get four more platoons, sorry, three more platoons uh, of, motor, of troops on motorcycles. And those all, the motorcycle platoon arrives here, um, just east of Offham, whereas my units will ride, arrive both on the rail line and on the paved road here, just south of this bridge. Okay, what is the plan? How will we attack? Oh, there's no smoke. I forgot to mention. So notice there's no smoke. So our mortar won't need to be responsible for doing any of that. <clears throat> um, remember I said the 18 turns will come into effect. Well, in a scenario such as this, um, Remember that one from Canterbury to Maidstone, it was titled to attack or not to attack or something like that, to assault or not to assault. So there was sort of a, it was sort of built in a secondary option. You could win without having to exit, or ostensibly you could win without having to exit. I'm not sure that that's so for this one, and so t whenever I do these route clearance operations, I always like to look at the turn length. Look at the board length, which is 39 hexes length in length, straight across. It's 39 hexes. And do a quick math problem. And I know that immediately, you know, how many times does 18 go into 39? Well, twice plus a few extra hexes. So I need to keep up a rate of 2 to 3 hexes per turn at least to have my point units here hit the objective hexes at the end that allow us to exit the map. So, two to three at least, uh, very easily, it's, it's just round up, it's, it's three hexes. We need to keep a three hex per turn quip every turn. We need to be moving at a pretty fast clip, I mean to say. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a little concerned about that. Three hexes per turn... I like to be a little more methodical. If, if it's not obvious, I think I'm better at uh, removing static obstacles. Well, after the last scenario, maybe not, right? But I prefer the set piece battle. But that's okay. Um, I feel like I'm jumping, I kind of dive headlong into these route clearance operations, and we're going to be doing that here. My plan is to move west along the road to the junction here, where the rail line and the paved road meet up like this, seize that objective, then break north. And the reason I chose north is because, because one, we get a nice stretch of paved road to use. We're also going up the hill. I like going up the hill because it allows options to abuse crest lines. Seize Rotham. So we'll be at 100 points here. After we have Rotham, We'll move down. I'm going to pull it to dab the two key to pull it out further. We'll move down this unpaved road. And then at a certain point here, here and here, we will jump off the road and move towards and utilize the crest to stay away from any units in this valley 
and exit whatever units we can to get the minor or major victory. Okay, that's the plan, uh, and it's fairly simple, of course, but it's also it's it's got a very once I commit to this it, and kind of am committing to it at the beginning, as soon as I take this junction, we're go. We are go. Uh, it is really not a lot of flexibility built into this. We need to win this way once I've committed to it. So I'm very concerned about minefields. Those things are incredibly destructive to the timetable, especially when they're under observation by the enemy. So uh, I'm a little nervous, but again, I th I'm just trying to get the minor. I'm really aiming my guns at the minor victory of 450, and I can take 100 points worth of objective, so 350 isn't doesn't seem terrible, so we're going to get after it. Uh, and the first thing we're going to do, uh, first thing to do is notice what units ha we have, which hexes that they're in, to, in regards to the observation on the road we're going to take. So adjacent hexes are all spotted. And again, we're, we're, we're looking for mines. If we're looking at mines. Where could mines be? So we click here. We see that this hex is seen by those guys. Okay, so there's no mines. Here is not observed. This hex could have mines, and we might run into them here. But then it's back to observation. So we know that everything is good up to this point except this orchard hex here with the paved road through it. Here is nothing, or no, we don't have any observation here, 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 and so on. But notice the common hex that has all these and more under observation is this orchard hex here with the wall. So this, this says two things. One, this road is clear for us except for this orchard hex. And two, that we can, or this this first five hexes, the road is clear for us, except for this orchard hex. Uh, and two, if we want to gain observation on the rest of the road, we need to move a unit into this orchard hex here so that we can get going. And, and so we shall. Uh, so our first move is going to be to put some eyes out on this road with one of our units. I'm going to select this parachute 40 platoon here to move forward and set up eyes on the road through this orchard deck. So, so here we go. Yeah, there's a little risk. There could have been mines in the orchard hex, but it's too vital of a hex. So there we are. Okay. Now the only other hex to worry about is this one. And there's a very quick and easy way to, to resolve this. Notice we have our engineers back here. What we need to do is just go ahead and open up this road. So we'll move this tank out of the way so it's not traffic jam. We still can't make it. We'll go ahead and dab the double time key here. Move one, two, three, four. Now. If there were mines, if there were mines in that hex, the engineer unit would not have been able to walk in there. Uh, I think. And then if it wasn't an engineer unit, it would have walked in there, but been bombed. So this was the guaranteed safe way to make sure that we opened up this road correctly. And now, observable hexes, or hexes that have been cleared by mines, go all the way to 3414. So we were able to clear six X's on the first turn with our point units, and so now we'll just stack everybody up. Uh.
we go. Not bad first turn there. Uh, these tanks. Let's move up here. I should have, ma again, always, at that point, I should have manually moved my tank. That was. Moving on those rail tracks. Rail tracks could have been mined. That was silly. Okay. Uh, yeah, I did debate actually just attacking Trotus Cliff for the 50 points, but look, at it's kind of a mess. So if you click on the actual hex where the points are, are um, you'll notice that we've basically got a little clover here. Reverse slope defense. Um, so whatever's in there would get point blank shots, albeit these you know, hexes would be you know, we'd have some pretty good TEM there, 0. 0.6, but point blank range, never a good thing. Never a guaranteed thing. So the best way to approach, approach Trotus Cliff for the assault is to at least have one unit come from the southwest. Um, Hex 2610 observes into uh, the downtown area and can bait shots while an assault force moves up and does the, does the deed. But again, we don't, we don't have the time, in my opinion. So. Then again, you know, now that I've said that, I know that the rest of my battalion is going to come onto this road next turn and just stuff this area. Maybe we will, just as a, just not to, um, I don't want to clog up the road so bad that, we take extra casualties or units become redundant. Yeah, there might be. I'm, I'm changing my mind as I'm making the video. Okay, uh, yeah. Uh, but we would need observation on the road. So this entire section is basically cleared out. Yeah, so no mines. At least. We don't know about this hex. No engineers to test it either. We'd have to plunge in there. Hmm. Looks like this orchard hex would be good observation to clear this road. Again, we're all about trying to get somebody up on here while we stage here. Okay, let's uh, let's take a little risk. Double time. Yeah, let's just clear it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, that's a good uh, range to soak a shot. <laughs> let's check our uh, scorecard just to get reoriented. Medium machine gun. Firing at range 6 is a 2. Great bait hex range. Range 5, 4 is not terrible to bait, but risky, yes. A little more risky, obviously. Let's go ahead and complete the run. We have some cover from the orchard, so... He didn't shoot. Alright, let's move our stug tanks into the observation orchard. Thanks. Now that it's been safely cleared of the mines. Okay. Yeah, let's double time. Hmm, actually...
we could uh we can make it to this hex here and it's basically blind. Yeah, I'm gonna alright. Orders issued to this company to make an assault on Trotus Cliff. Or else we'll just be bored and clogging the road. So This is kind of a lunge, though. Still, nobody shot at us. Yeah, it's not too much of a risk. Unless there's somebody here. If there's somebody here, then we're going to be in bad shape. But I'll take, I'll take the risk. Let's go. One more hex, and then we're in a blind spot from that MG. Okay, no one shot at us. Huh. We don't have any smokes. Not good, but all right. This might be something we could have a machine gun war, you know. I think this might be a right move to make. Yeah. Okay. Ah, yes. And then most important, most important indeed. The motorcycle platoon. We will move him right here for to help support the assault on Trotus Cliff. Yes, it was a little bit of a risk to these two hexes here, but given the lack of mines so far, I rolled the dice. <laughs> this is for the HQ, the HQ here is for the Stugs. We'll go here. HQ will come on down. Big guns at least have a target, so um, yeah, we'll just dump it all right there. All units have been considered. Uh, no air support is needed. Artillery has been directed. And next turn, the rest of the battalion comes on. So not a bad first turn. We've got we moved um, we moved to the line one, two, three, four, five, six hexes forward. Basically, double what the minimum required standard was. So happy with that and um, but yeah we're gonna we're setting up for an assault on Trotus Cliff so give the enemy its turn oh wow look at all of the stuff we could see fortified areas here one here mines on the railroad not on the paved that we can see I guess we expected this very good. Not too much movement by the enemy, but all silent movement, so nothing up front here. Reinforcements have arrived. Pretty blasé. Yes! Good hit. Good hit. So now everything is going to be halved as long as it doesn't undisrupt. But in a rubble, the morale is positive four. 
Yeah, it's a pretty good morale modifier, so it stands to reason it's probably a good chance the guy's going to rally next turn. Okay, and this is interesting. Notice... Hmm. Okay, no mines here, but otherwise the enemy has laid in minefields to canalize our approach up the road. No mines here either. We don't know about here or here. But anyway, there is a hole. Is this a home guard? Little pause while I make positive identification. Yeah, it's home guard. Alright. Uh, I have it somewhere, but... All right. Yeah, 3 hex range is the bait range. 2 hexes, there's not really much to write home about there either. It's just 1 hex that you don't want to be at for either the armor value, which is actually pretty good. Their attack value at range 1 is better than a rifle platoon. <laughs> so, yeah, don't get armor units adjacent to home guard platoons. So let's check his observation. Yeah, he's that's his job. His job is clearly to shoot at guys that enter this hex here. Or these hexes. Okay, well... This, um, this road is very much clear of mines. Although, the quantity of them is disconcerting. <sighs> Alright, I'm already, just by the presence of all these mines, my, my brain's working in a way that's saying you should probably focus on minimizing casualties, maximizing enemy casualties, and seizing as many objectives as you can to get the miner. So, anyway, we might let me just look at all these... It's not going to be fast. We're not going to be moving at 6 hexes anymore. That was just the first turn bonus. Uh, well, let's check the observation from these fortified positions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, so if there's a machine gun in this location, this is a good bait hex here. I think the best thing to do yeah let's move let's move you up here and take a shot disrupt it very good Okay, let's move. Let's move you up to bait some shots here. There's a machine gun. Perfect. But the home guard platoon has been reduced to a one because I, th I think it's fractions rounded down. So it's halved for disruption, fractions rounded down. Should be a one. So that is why we shot with the Stug tank, just to reduce the risk to our guys that much more. And then of course we know at hex range six, the MG shoots it at a two. So this guy did his, did his job very well, and now we're just gonna shut him off because we don't want him going low on ammo um, over a fatigue status shot on, his, on the enemy turn. However, the next unit will take a shot. So we'll move here, here, leader directed. We got a nice 11, reduced by two. We've got the, we've stacked the first bodies. Gotten seven, oh, and then the one MG. Yeah, right, so strength. 
uh, three VPs for the MG SP and two VPs per Home Guard SP. So net positive seven. Very nice. Very nice. I'm going to go ahead and move this tank forward one more space since it seems to be clear. This is the power of good observation, confidence in movement. Confidence in movement can go a long way. Okay. Everyone else on the road here will just sort of, I think, reverse slope it. Yeah, it looks pretty safe. So move here. Let's move the machine in. Let's prioritize the MG. No mines here. Unknown. Unknown. But there could be enemy there as well, that means. So. No, let's just get more units down the road. So see, we only moved two hex. We only moved the ball two hexes forward here. Point units kind of congealed up here next to this crest. So not the best turn to for moving. So hopefully it opens up sooner or later, and, let, and we are allowed to kind of rush down the road again. We'll see. Okay, here. And I do, as much as I would like, I don't, I think this is a luxury now, getting somebody there safely. This machine gun has definitely become sort of a public enemy. Numero uno. So, I think the Stugs will move here just to observe these road hexes and make sure there's no mines. I'd really like to get to a point where the Stug can next turn shell this guy and observe. That leaves this hex. Eh. Oh, we already can't, duh. So it's just this hex that's a question mark. Let's go ahead and let's move you. And that would leave the north side with no armor support. Ah. This guy. Perfect. Yeah, these tanks will support our assault up here. These guys will move up here. Check 
MGs again because I'm about to abuse my motorcycle platoon. So at range two, they hit on a four if they stay disrupted. So that's what we're going to try to do. Absorb the fire. I think we're just going to go direct assault since this is it's going to take way too long to do anything else. We'll do our best to actually you're fatigued, so let's shut them off. Yep, we're going to forget about going around. Shut this off. It's going to be a direct assault. platoon up. It's got a three hex range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so this way he can provide his benefits to everyone. Okay, we're doing a very direct assault with core units and one loner unit. Oh, and tanks. Yeah, it's not too bad. I'm not... Okay, I was starting to get nervous. But... Okay, let's bring on the reinforcements. Which will basically just tear down the road. Yeah, it's interesting to note that we don't have any transports in this one. In that one between Canterbury and Maidstone, we had, you know, the borrowed British trucks. So. Extra hex. Same with you, actually. And the mortars. Eh, it's kind of losing them forward. Okay, let's call down our artillery. Um, they're all going to go here, since this one's going to be the toughest to get fire on next turn. No air raids needed. I, I think we're good. This has enough. Next turn it'll be smothered by the rush of humanity. Uh, so, let's go ahead and spot for a mortar. Yeah, you know what? There. Okay. Alright, give the enemy its turn and see what kind of already they have. From the north, northwest area. At least one battery. Yes, we expected this. Okay. Ah, that was quick. Okay. It rallied, right? It did not. Wow, it got a kill off of a four. That, that can happen. Okay. Excellent hit. Good, someone else got messed up. So we'll reverse engineer this right now and find out if we got a kill off of that retreat or if anybody was killed.
So we know we have one MG kill and one MG kill, so that's those two. We know about those two, and yes, there it is. The rifle platoon did take a loss there and retreated. So, very good. Sorry about your casualties. Oh, you're low on ammo. Oh. Okay, so now you move up here. Shoot. Move up. Move up. Move up. around in these wheat fields, which I don't like to do. <laughs> Let's bring it in. Dang. Tough, tough spot. Artillery could very easily fall on any of these hexes and cause significant casualties, so... I'm gonna go ahead and move this unit here. No, so no enemy units here, apparently. That's good. You're disrupted. That's good. You're in a forest where the morale is only at two, so you're more likely to stay disrupted than this guy. <laughs> Time check. Okay. Probably do this in one more turn. Stug, you're still uh, uh, good on ammo. Or do you want to bet that was the only rifle tune there? Maybe we can get a a head start on clearing this fighting position, these fighting positions out. Doing a quick overrun. Want to risk it? Yep. We'll shell this guy. Okay. okay. But we've removed the NG threat completely, which is good. Two SP. Let's go ahead and shoot these guys. Okay, and yeah, we're gonna double time. Oh, look at that! What a lovely double time. And we can't, really can't use it. Yeah. Three hex, our point units are three hexes further along from where they were, so that's a good enough, good enough turn for movement, I suppose. Yeah, let's hit him again with this guy. You can still move. Okay, and now it's going to be sort of overstack this, this hex. And then, yeah, 
we're gonna set up our motors here. Start dropping some shells. Hmm. This MG position actually is an excellent observation. I just realized he can see everybody down here. And there's nothing I can do about it now, frankly. You know what? We can move back a little. Ugh, I don't know. Let's just put all our eggs in one basket. Let's. God, I. Ugh. This needs to go down. The, this position needs to get gone. The next turn, it definitely will succumb, though. Well. Anyway. Two. Yeah, we really can't uh, suffer any delays, so. Yeah, you need to go down. It's your turn to get bombed. I'm still trying to go for speed here at the moment. I haven't given up on that. We're at a positive 10 because of that SP loss from the MG. So probably going to take another one at least this turn. Let's cycle through. Yeah. Give the enemy its turn. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay. 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 We rallied. Oh, he took it. Wow. The MG rallied up here. These guys took a full, full firepower attack at point blank range twice and ate it. No problem. Wow. Oh, yes! Blasted him. Well done. Well done, sirs. Wow. Okay, yeah, you're not disrupted. You need to become disrupted. Let's go ahead and uh, adjacent. Shoot. Good. Let's move you. So we know there's going to be enemy back here. In fact, let's just do a quick recon of that hex. What is that? It's like a portee, but it's... Okay, so that's what's up there. Okay, resolve. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to kill it. No, I'm going to disrupt it. Okay, this is a little risk, but we're going to try to sort you. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Shoot back. 
Boy, we got lucky, didn't we? Boy, we got lucky. Hey, sometimes that happens. I'll take it. Rather be lucky than good. Okay, let's just stage up. Spread everyone out. Actually, we artillery didn't fall up here, so it's likely that it won't bother us. Okay, good. We should get a nice, uh, nice package of enemy units and some victory points next turn. Um, objective victory points. So, yeah. First thing we want to do is move this mortar here and then shell somebody. I guess it's just you. No effect. Eh, we could have shelled this guy, but he seems hardly worth it. Ooh, you see what I see? Yeah, he retreated. Fooey. That's <sighs> not good. <sighs> Can we get someone into that, uh... Yes, we can. It's absolutely worth the risk. Since he's disrupted... clear this obstacle ASAP in my opinion that was worth it disrupted and adjacent actually that's pretty good that's a four attack because he's disrupted this is a force text though so we get some benefit Okay, the tanks. Let's try to destroy this MG. Let's try to do something to this guy. I'll take it. It's a clover. I don't like those. Let's just move here. And shut off his ability to shoot. Good. So this looks pretty safe to move up, actually. Um, we'll go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. Oh, except for the bloody home guard platoon that can still <laughs> see these two axes. Hmm. Move up. Move up. Move up. Do one more turn of supply out of that location and then we'll double time it next turn. Quick cycle through. Looks good. And now let's bring on our motorcycles. Yes. Oh, very nice. Uh, we might actually be able.
This is a bit of a risk. Yeah, we're gonna take it down. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Alright. Good. No, no! Oh, come on, trucks. Oh, there's some sort of... No! There's a... There's a um, roadblock in this hex. That's what happened. Oh, I know how to fix this. I think... Cancel? Yes! Frankly, we're just going to have to eat that, I think. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Anyway, we got to get to this junction. We got to take uh, this town. <laughs> Take a look at the victory. <laughs> this is what this scenario make these. I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous. Only 26 points. We should be up 75. We'll be up to 100 and probably 150 after we wipe out all the British. We're still not past a major defeat in that regards. It's, it makes me nervous. Makes me quite nervous. Ooh, look at all this. Okay, where uh, is the next tough nut? Here, sir. You will get a dose. You'll get three. And you'll get three. You give the enemy its turn. Come on, come on. Very good. Excellent. Very nice. Sort of weird looking armored car. Good. Come on. Dang, nothing. Nothing. There's somebody by one and disrupted him. Nothing. Yeah, it was a rifle platoon. So, these guys are almost ready to be surrounded and destroyed but we've got to clear the hexes around him first. What's the time check? Oh, I really want to do it. I'm just going to do it. We're going to do the battle up here in Torts Cliff, Trotus Cliff. Hmm. Yeah, let's move up. Take the shot. Shoot this guy. Oh, at two? No, sir. There we go. And then we need you to bait. Ooh. We need you to bait. Got a shot. Okay, this isn't it. This tank's in a terrible spot, but. Again, there is an intent here. Let's move the motorcycle platoon here. Shoot. Disrupted. Very good. Just make sure the job gets done. Push him out. Nice. 
can we get a guy in there? No. Uh, wasted that. Yep. Rats. We've shot our bolt, and we were unable to completely crush the enemy this turn. That's alright, we'll get him next turn. Next turn, they all will die. You lay your armor straight down. Yeah, they're all primed up and ready to go. One. Oh, they really did a good job at rallying everyone up here. Um, but yeah, we'll do the rest of this later. So <clears throat> we did four turns and we cleared one, two. Thirteen. So yeah, that's a we're we're on schedule barely, but we are on schedule at the moment. As long as we can just blow through these guys, keep moving. Moving on to Rotha. Up to thirty-one. So we'll be well over a hundred when we capture both these objectives. Yeah. Okay, thank you for watching this. All the best from the good captain and bye-bye.